great thing. This is what the world have been waiting for. You don't know, sir. Along with the king and the gift thanks to life. One done. Dan Sinclair and Rolly Coley. Whatever I said. And Rolly Coley. You don't know from that time until this time. Bigger joy, bigger joy, bigger joy. I'm not saying nothing. So they're on the ground. And we are full dancing. Team. Dan Sinclair pulled up right away foot. Right away foot. I don't know. It's a good look. And Rolly Coley. You will say a word, alright? So send out the thing. Subscribe to the channel. Big, big channel. And it's growing. It's growing, you know. Those are words. Right. Guess who's back, people? The one and only Unruly Cooley, Don Sinclair in Jamaica, 2024. And we have with us right now the one and only J and R. With our pleasure. <laughs> it's a Welcome to Jamaica with a smile again, man. Heart warming. <laughs> blessings, blessings again. Keep comes to be alive. Yes. It's been some rough time. We have some rough ups and yes. horrible word, but you yes. know. We are here and we, so we are. are special people as well. We are here. That's you know? right, that's yeah. right. So it's so good to see you, Jay and I. It's been a little while, like you just said, and this interview has been long waiting for a long, long time. We've been planning for a long time, right? Yeah. So it's a real privilege to sit with you now and ask you these questions, yeah? yeah. So we're gonna do some quick fire questions and if you give some quick answers so we can get through them all, um, and that would be brilliant. Right, okay, so let's start off first of all in what and who inspired you in the music? How did you start up? So you're obviously from a young age. When did all this love and your passion for music start? It started up in a... It just started up in a neighborhood, you know, in a family thing where I just hear the sound and adopt it from the elders, you know, get me? Which part you grow? I grew up between... I was born in Sundown Crescent. I grew up between Rock Hall, Greenwich Farm, Hall okay. Hill. Gregory Park. Mm -hmm. I, I'm all around her. in yeah. Jamaica, where I am now, I am all around her. Yeah, yeah. No specific area, you get me? Okay. Well, I learned from the greats, them. I learned from all the greats, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the greats I learned from it. Named, I didn't want to point a name now. Okay. Like, if I to point a name now, I would point a name at man like Bobby Colpat. Okay. Hugh Mondale, you get me? Yep, One yep. new personally. Yeah, yeah. And what if I does, you know, Straight up to everybody can say Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. to go there. I know him in person. Yeah, yeah. You know, so okay. that was a joy for me. And for nice. Child, you know? Nice. Okay. So where did your sound name come from, J and It come from me of selling cassette and a little stepdaughter of mine. Joe, I am the junior for my father. Right, right. My father is Gladstone. I'm Gladstone. I'm the junior. So, so it's a short for junior. Yeah, junior. Right. So yeah. Johnny goes short. Okay. To me, the national reggae. Uh -huh. Junior never run, etc., etc. Right. Okay. Nice. And how would you describe your your style and your your sound? My style is different, unique, and it's hard to gravitate to what real people will gravitate to it because. In, in a party, like just in the market, you see the crowd, there's not a lot of sale. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes one person come, mm -hmm. they don't need to sell anybody, you get me? Yep, yep. So, sometimes when I go out, I'm not looking for the forward mm -hmm. in the news because people bought forward and make night through the nose and song, you get me? But days and months after, you're going to remember, I said, Jane, I play, play that song because I tried to do some outside the box, some mm -hmm. unbelievable, unbelievable things in the music that mm -hmm. people will even turn away from the car back and say, you know, it's you and it's working, so that made me feel good. Like when I was in Rebel Salute and Dynamic Sound looked for me and he looked for me for editor and he said, Jay, not bad sound. I said, how do you know? He said, I did my homework. That made me feel and forward again. Yes. Let's yes. yes. kick back and say, yeah, man. Nice, nice. Yeah. And so when did you have your first sound clash? Where was that? Who was it with? My first sound clash was the... 1998, that was in Metro Love and I saw Donald Jello and Pisces in the Okay. That was my first song clash. Huh? How did that go? Was you nervous or how did you feel? No, I was on a hype. You were? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was on a physical mood. I was, I was on a hype oh. that time because I was hungry for it and it was cassette. It was no digital world. It's yeah. cassette. I still have a cassette. We have records. Mm -hmm. you get me? It's not a no download thing. You get me? Cassettes. Record, dub yeah. plate, all the old faculties to add up with it. I was yeah. there on that January, you get me? Right, so right. I learned from somebody great in the land, mm -hmm. and I would, I would never deny being of Saxon, any of them being of Saxon, yeah, yeah. King Tubbies and G.I. Roach, a lot of sounds still, but you know, 
have to dig them up, see them, you know, because they was there in England, you know. All right. So you've literally grafted from the bottom and worked your way up. So what would you say would be perhaps the three key things for any startup sound to have? What do you think is most important for them? To make them a good sound, yeah? The most important thing, uh -huh. do your own work. Yes. Don't be afraid to ask questions from the elder, you get me? If you don't, and be careful of what you're saying yeah. about the music. If it's not factual, always stand to be corrected in the music. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Open for correction if you're not sure. Yes. Don't be ignorant to things that you're not sure because things are recorded. You get me? Absolutely. No, it's not like so. I do the real homework. So any sound man, anybody want to come like this, do the real thing. You get me? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. do the business side of it as well yeah. because I'm not really brilliant at the business side of it. I'm not going to go and like have a proper exactly. business money to get my own. Right. I'm more a joyful money to give my art mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. It's not about no bother when for me. It's keeping the joy and the free in it and can go anywhere. You know what I can look behind me when I walk anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, so if you was holding your own dance, your own sound clash, yeah. who would you have there? Who would be on that? venue mm. on the mm. listing, who would you have? Let's say, let's say three or four. Right, three, yeah. oh, oh, who oh, would no. you have? Who From comes, Jamaica, UK. Anyway, who comes first to your mind? You're, ah. yeah, yeah, you're setting up this dance down to you, Jay. Now, who do you want there? Who are the top three people? In the UK, if it's in the UK, and I've chose, I chose David, David Redman and Saxon, that's okay. my dream dance. I want to keep it from a promoter in London. Uh -huh. Me with them. Yeah. I've been Jamaica to be stole of and Kilimanjaro, stole of and caveman with myself. Again. And yeah. if it's in America, it's <laughs> the LP and don't be to yes. myself. You get me? That's if it's a nice Europe, choice. And if it's Europe, I'll go for Stereosonic yeah. and some other sound. I wouldn't need the other sound. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Birmingham. I would go for love injection mm -hmm. and stop and so I'm not gonna pinpoint it again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So name your top five favorite dubs of all time. Dennis Brown Ranking Joe. Okay. Prince Allah. Yeah. Matrid Adway, Janet Byrne, and uh, Sugar Miner to Willie wow. Williams. What a choice. And uh, this show that I have with Bucky Joe and uh, Michael Prophet and Daddy Freddy and okay. the next one is a baby way in dog. Right. Baby way, maybe that's fine. Nice, favorite. nice. So which one in your box is your favourite? I haven't got a favourite. You don't have a favourite? No. <laughs> all right. I haven't got a favourite. You have to pick one. So imagine they were all gonna get taken away from you, but you could keep only one. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that, that one easy, JNR. <laughs> oh, no, one dog to keep. Just one dog. My way in Amman. My way in Amman. Okay. All right. Don't rock and roll to Zion. I'll keep my chalice dog because from a my little boy, I used yeah. to punch that music in the jukebox, you get me? Mm -hmm. Rock and roll, I'll keep that in my okay. way in Amman chalice. So, what was the first dub plate you bought? My first dub plate of ours, it was determined. Okay, right. Why that one? Because I was around him at the time when I had the momentum and I was capitalizing it, you get me? And yeah. second was Johnny Asbury, you get me? Okay. Because I was around him before I had sound system, we used to call um, the cassette side and get the pay for other sound, you get right. me? Right, yeah. And he, they encouraged me to start. Okay. Right. So what's your top three genres of music? I've really put you in a hot spot today, haven't I? <laughs> Got you thinking. <laughs> uh, leave that one for another time. I don't know. You love music. He yeah. loves all so kinds of music. I yeah. don't want to be. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There is different time for different music. Yeah. Get me music. I'm even sick. I'm sick on my sick bed already. Yeah. And my phone rang. I couldn't answer the phone. And one of my child mom answered the phone, put it at my ears, and I was downstairs asking for my car key. And I was sick with lots of tablet when the, I heard that Johnny was burning and Sugar Man was at the studio. It revived me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay, so looking back at your journey and um, everything you've been doing through 
your musical journey so far. Is there anything you look back at and say, right, if I was to go back to that time, I would do this differently? There's a lot of things, but every time I think to look back, I look at where I am yes. and give thanks because there's no time like no. Yeah. There's always room for improvement, so that's already gone. I don't want to go back into and I give thanks for life because it's about being here, you get me? Right. There are a lot of things that if we could change, we would change it, yeah. but we must still remember that there's no reverse in life. That's right. So that's I, right. Don't want, I don't want to <laughs> do that thing yeah. if I yeah. could, you know? Yeah, yeah. I am alive now and I'm doing what I can do now. Yes. Like I know I'm in Jamaica and I'm not running down a lot of days. I'm just True. here on my yes. own turf and I'm, I'm not hyping the music, I'm not looking now. I would out of it and just there looking and trying to restore myself yeah. the strongest way because I've seen what the music can do. It can music can build and can kill you as well too. So yes. you have to know how you deal with the music, you get me? Mm -hmm. And I'm true to the music. Yes. I know I'm true oh, to music, it. Yeah. yeah, you don't look back. Okay, yeah. that's good to hear. So what can the people and the fans out there, the audience out there expect from you going forward for the rest of this year? What are your plans, your visions? I'm still um, um, stationary in Jamaica at the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. so I've got that dates overseas and in Gambia that I don't do them. You've been there a few times in Gambia, haven't you? Yeah, Gambia is my, like, my second year, they get me. I have a lot of uh, public demand for Gambia and the UK, but at the moment, uh, after losing my mom and dad, they get me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things I want them to really witness in the music with me. My mom did have plans for Gambia. Yeah, I just did, just recuperating and still, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm like at the crossroad, but I'm not really stumbling at the crossroad. I'm sure. really giving thanks, you know, because yeah. I'm in my farm, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. And I'm not cutting a lot of dub play, but I'm, I'm specified in dub play because I can say this I don't need to cut no dub play to play any sound. And I kill sound even with the studio. See, because it's not the amount of tune I play. I kill several songs oh, in this studio that? by just vice the artist know that. Mm -hmm. They vice are 10 songs from the artist more than one time and I vice one. And my one that I vice give them headache. All the while. Yeah, it's like some, yeah, they don't know what they're doing in the music because there's the song in London, they're doing what they can do when they need to do something different, substantial, like, yeah. oh, me, you know, play the land of my name, still have a car. Mm -hmm. I don't have to play another dance. I will be most clash in London 2017. Mm -hmm. That's document. No song in the history of when the amount of dance have been 2017. And, and from, and the, remember the first time again, yeah. Dan Sinclair and all the cool here and Adam, they are living testimony to these yes. things. You get me? Yes. When I come on your platform, I get a great link, mm -hmm. link that time with yeah. the hype and I, I didn't drop the button, you get me? I, I tried to keep <laughs> the momentum and I still didn't drop off of the thing and it's not money with it's authentic things and, yes. and really true to certain things and outside the box, you get me? It's not about the, the play big tune, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go around it, yeah. you know, me, I mean, I'm not hype it. And the Almighty knows, even my children, they know what I'm doing, I'm passionate about it. So I'm doing it from my heart, I'm not hustling it. Yeah. If I have a clash, I don't even go to work, I leave all job. And, and that's what some of the sort of men need to do. Then you they have a clash and tell them about your job. The clash is like a job because you spend how much thousand to get double. I never leave that work. Mm. So I'm okay. true to this. All right. All right. For those of you that may, may have not seen j in action, he's on our YouTube channel. It's on the Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes channel. We have him clashing in the YouTube studios in London. And you see his great energy and vibes um, just coming through. So definitely go and check that out as well. So j if you've already talked about Gambia being out there. If you was to play out in any other country, where would you like to go? What area would you like to explore and venture out to? India. Okay. You want to go play in India. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. India like, <laughs> and a place in Manila. Those places. I want to go to different places. Yeah. And I want to go um, the, in the Indian Ocean. There's a place, uh, you know, where yeah. people live from those places. You know? And Europe. I want to go more in Switzerland. I didn't you know, go okay. to Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Really, you know? yeah. Yeah. But outside, I definitely want to play in India, you know? Okay. 
So outside of music, you know, what other interests do you have? Because I, I think I'm sure I heard you're a bit of a gardener. You like to plant things a bit. Well, I mean, I'm a certified chef as well. Are you? I'm a certified chef. I work in a lot of five star What's restaurants. What's your top dish that you cook? Anything that import coconut, it can be my top dish. And I can cook for you easily. <laughs> I work in Chelsea and then in Crystal Palace with 60 chefs. The only chef can work with 60 chefs. We have Cuban chefs, Italian chefs, Spanish chefs. Every chef I will spend four days just prepping food for a football match. Some wow. of the fridge is big like a walking place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've done those things. I'm working in an institute that's, I take two weeks from the job and the, the customer get a lot of bad report on the computer when they call me in the office and they say, Jay, what can you do to this? I said, give me three days. I went to the three days, I bring up at the restaurant to five star again. Yeah. And I just, it's consistency in cooking. Yeah. And if you know people willing to make sacrifice, I don't do it with them. It's consistency, like working on even New Year's night and Christmas day. If you're not willing to work on those days, in, in as a chef, leave it alone. Yeah. It's okay. serious. You will drop okay. off a farm and lose. You get me? And the reason why I'm a chef because I haven't, I haven't got no sister, seven brothers, so I do wow. my own work. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I wash and cook and clean for me. I do those yeah. things. I'm a chef, and in Jamaica. I was inspired by a lot of friends, so I took the farm into a different level in Jamaica. Nice, nice. What's your top thing you're growing at the minute? Planting, Ooh, pineapple, banana, but this um, for January I invest in 300 weight of yellow yam and white yam, nice. where I get the guy from Trilani to come and plant it from, because I'm learning Ooh. it, because they cycle about farming, like the moon, they farm at the moon, certain time when they plant certain things, yeah. you get me? And I'm learning it from them, you get me? And uh, you know, it's, it's, I enjoy it because it's nice to go in my field and I don't have to carry nothing. I live in the bush, you get me? And I feel free. Yeah. And I feel the community, I feel a lot of arts, and I don't wish to look no clout of it. Cause I could snap a lot of video of me giving people things I put on social media. I don't do that. That's nice. And even Mikey General I'm not great school. Listen to those guys come to the bush loot and fair show video on my farm as well. Mm -hmm. So it it's it's, it's and I feel free. It, I feel it's not claustrophobic like yeah, yeah. it's not afraid of in yeah, England. Yeah. Afraid when I go back to England. I was in England for a month and I was a bit nervous. Yeah. I, yeah. I was scared to come outside. I, okay. I, I just feel, and I, I couldn't believe it's me, this free in England, yeah, feels yeah. so close up. After in Jamaica, I'm open like a yeah. bird, I do what I want, I yeah. smoke, whenever I grow my own weed, I do what I want to yeah. do. You <laughs> get me? Okay, so, myself, John Sinclair and the team, we're definitely going to have to come and meet you on your plot of land and see what you're growing. And, and maybe, you know, do some filming there as well. And right here. plant a tree and I will yes. leave it for Dan Sinclair and I will nurture it for you guys and keep taking you plant a tree, everybody come and plant a yeah, tree. Yeah, and I'm really plant there. Tree or plant or something. Yeah, anything you want to plant, yeah. plant it, I'll yeah. nurture it for you. All right. So, thank you so much. Um, that was some quick fire answers. Yeah. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate you sharing with us your journey and your stories. Um, so lastly, what word would you have for myself, I'm really cool here, Don Sinclair and the team, for the work that we're doing? Don't stop. Don't stop. You get me? Don't stop. And nothing is not easy. And remember behind every dark cloud there's a silver line. And you get me? Do what you're doing because people recognize you. I, listen to me. I went up in the bush up in the, uh, and a, a guy told me that he was watching. Robert up Thursday and like Daddy Shark got to Mitch and say, big up dance something. Mitch say, I'm a, I'm a dance something, a dancing clear. And the guy said, you remember me same time because you know I always talk about dancing clear. Get me some. Keep on doing what you're doing because dancing clear is very serious about what you're doing and you can't be joking when you're doing it. You get me? And you have a passion for what he does. I know that. You get me? And you, Adam, have a passion for what he does. Adam, welcome to Jamaica, big up the world team. And I, yeah, yeah. I want to big up a lot of artists. I don't want to call a name, but I want to big up two artists like in the UK, especially big up Gappy Rams, Roger yeah. Rabin, and the whole UK fraternity team. Big up the artists, them who take time out and be loyal to somebody who recognize their talent. You get me? Because these artists nowadays, they are so unloyal. And I, I don't want to call no name, you get me? 
when they really want to help, they, they have the most passionate and sweet words. And then after a little time, you have to wonder if the same person, some same drum and those things, you get me? Yeah. That's why I just want a back seat or a forward seat or a top seat or a side seat, you know? Do you know, real people ever know? Yeah. Give thanks. Big up and bless up all people out there, all the audience, all the fans, everyone following our channel. There you go. Thank you so much, JR. On um, behalf of myself, I'm Rudy Cooley, Don Sinclair, and the team. Until next time, we check out of Jamaica. Well, from this interview. Yeah, but I'm the smart yeah. snippet. You get me? Bless up myself. If we can't be good, be careful. You get me? I remember, good words don't spread, so people tend to do bad. But keep on doing good. One day, you don't know. Blessings.